rivalry game, 19 and one overall, eight and one in Big Ten play, taking on the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Make some noise. Time to be a fan of Michigan basketball. Dave Fleming, Dan Dockich, Molly McGrath with you here from Ann Arbor, where we are underway. Ohio State has the ball first. That guy's coming off a big road win. This would be even bigger. Well, they lost five in a row. All of a sudden, they turned it around and turned it around quick at Nebraska with a 10 point win. Their big man Caleb Wesson steps out and hits a three to start the game. Kind of a page out of John Beeline's book. You're going to see Teske on top. Looking to shoot threes for Michigan, but Caleb Wesson, 33% shooter from there. So the Wolverines have the ball for the first time. Michigan, after a week where they didn't play quite as well as they have for most of this year, bounced back with a huge win in Bloomington against Indiana. There's John Teske, and they'll count the basket and win in anyway. We're going to talk about this on the court. Michigan with John Teske up top. The guy guarding him is the most important guy defensively. That time, Ohio State chose to switch. C.J. Jackson got caught against a much, much, much bigger Teske. Wesson Dallo, he had Simpson on him. Teske came over to help. The three from the opposite side, offensive rebound. Wesson got knocked off balance, scored anyway. Yeah, funny no call, but Wesson starting out great. He went to the backboard. You said it. He had Simpson, no block out. He just went and got it and finished. For a good start here, just a couple possessions. There's Jordan Poole open, came up way short on the three. Part of the challenge when you play the Wolverines, especially here in Ann Arbor, hanging in the game early. Oh, well, halftime, they rubbed you. They just went 20 to 2 against Indiana. Now, I know that was on the road, but if it's close at half, it generally is close at the end of the game. That was not a very good pass. It was a lazy, kind of no look pass. You can't do that in this game. Mr. Jallo, who's moved into the starting lineup the last few games. Kyle Young, one of the Buckeyes' most important players, out and out for a while. He's been so good, Kyle Young. He's a guy that could play Teske. He's a guy that could play Iggy, the kid with the ball. He's a guy that could play a lot of positions. Another switch, you see the mismatch underneath. Rosdake has lost the ball momentarily. Now double team with the shot clock winding down. Somehow found an opening, but misses the shot. That switch is what Minnesota did to Michigan here. Michigan won on a last second shot, but the game was in the 50s. Pretty good by Chris Holtman so far, switching all the high post stuff. Wesson, nice pass to C.J. Jackson. Well, the double came. Michigan got running at the ball. C.J. Jackson didn't stay, and he went to the rim. Well, everything going through the sophomore big man for the Buckeyes in the early minutes. Charles Matthews to Teske outside. He can definitely hit shots from there. Simpson on the drive. He loves that little running hook. And makes it every time. He loves it. It's unbelievable. Only guy in college basketball that hooks it like that. It might be my favorite shot in college hoops. I agree. Absolutely my favorite shot. Everybody can shoot threes nowadays. Not many can do that. Never. Best hooker since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Jallo, Andre Wesson, older brother of Caleb. Shot clock winding down, and didn't Ohio State it. didn't know it. Didn't know it. Hey, nobody hooks it like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar anymore, but my man here, Xavier Simpson, all 5'10 of them. That's a fading, running, eight-foot hook. Now I do I have to say that when we first started watching Xavier Simpson play at this level I never thought you'd be comparing him to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Where did it that's come a, from? That's a real they practice it all summer all summer. All summer he and his dad worked and added to his game. That's what great players do. They add to their games. Cool. Against the big man. Air ball. Teske right there though and he missed the putback. Jallo for three. That's you bad shot. That was way off the mark. And then C.J. Jackson didn't rotate back. So that 
that was not a highlight moment for the Buckeyes on either end. Still with a one point lead. Jackson. Lesson was open for a minute, but then he finds Muhammad from the corner coming off Senior the career guard. game. You saw what I saw, right? Wesson was open for a second, but the help was coming from behind. C.J. Jackson, pass fake, froze the defense, skipped it to Luther Muhammad. I love Luther Muhammad. Look at him getting after pool. He came ready to play defense at the college level. Yes, he did. First game, Cincinnati at Cincinnati. Dominated it on the defensive end. Now well, the offense is starting to catch up. Big game at Nebraska. Matthews drives. Rejected by Caleb Wesson. And Muhammad got on the floor to get the loose ball. How good's Wesson been so far? Both ends. Uh, really good. Yeah. Great sign for the Buckeyes. Now on the block, one-on-one -on -one against Teske. And Wesson just overpowered him. <laughs> Teske gave him room, and Wesson didn't settle. He went into the body of Teske, and when you go into the body of a big guy, they cannot jump. They get knocked back and can't get up. Great by Wesson. 2-3 here, second time. Now the zone was effective for Ohio State on the defensive end against Nebraska, needing to snap that losing streak. They did pull inside the three-point arc. He's missed all three of his shots. Man, they said a nice action there, a little ball screen. Cool though, hustles back on defense. So he misses a shot, makes something good happen on the other end. That guy's defense recovered. We've had almost uninterrupted action. We've also had a lot of those. Teske's slow to get up. He's hurting a little bit. I think that ball got influenced. By West loses it out of bounds. Well, hopefully Teske's okay. We got our first timeout. Be back after this. Attention all Michigan students for just the third time in the last 40 years. The University of Michigan is canceling classes tomorrow and Thursday. Bop, 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 drop. As for the next two hours, have some fun and make some noise. You can tell their Michigan students are thrilled that classes are canceled over the next two days because this week marks the beginning of midterm exams. And a bunch of students I spoke with told me all of their tests have been pushed back. So instead of studying, they're here. And you can tell with the student section, it started to fill up four hours before tip off and nearly 500 wristbands for the maze rates were passed out. Nearly double the normal amount. And the university is taking precautions because of the cold and wind chill. The athletics department arranged for buses to take all the students back to the main campus after the game day. Thank you, Molly. Can't make it to midterms. Could find the giraffe suit, though, and get into the student <laughs> section. Hey, Dave, I got the giraffe suit. You wear the all-yellow thing, and let's go to the game. Sounds like a plan. Matthews got fouled. Back to action here. Just over six minutes in. Ohio State with a six-point lead. NBA Wednesday doubleheader this week. Starts in Washington, D.C. Pacers and the Wizards. Your Pacers. And our Pacers got blasted last night by Golden State, 132 to 100. But, man, I feel so bad for Victor Oladipo. Yeah. He is out for the year, quad separated from the knee. It's a horrible injury. And uh, thoughts go to Vic because I know he watches everything that's basketball on television. And then the Jazz are playing the Trailblazers. After that, and somebody suggested the Jazz should trade their name to New Orleans for Anthony Davis. Give him the name back. Anthony Davis wants a trade. He wants out of New Orleans. Yes. And the Jazz is historically, it came from Utah, or excuse me, came from New Orleans to Utah. They kept the name. Give the name back. Take Anthony Davis. Utah, beautiful place. You think of mountains, you think of skiing, you think of all kinds of stuff. Maybe not jazz. I don't think so. I could be in favor of that. I think that New Orleans would want something else. Possibly. Like maybe Donovan oh, yeah. Mitchell. Dwayne Washington, freshman, shoots a contested three in and out. Caleb Wesson has been everywhere in the early minutes. Caleb Wesson came here to compete, and Caleb Wesson came here to win. Got to get time out. No. Oh, somehow Ohio State keeps possession of the first foul called against Michigan. Now Chris Holtman, second year in Columbus with the Buckeyes, the Big Ten Coach of the Year last year, 12 and one start this season, and then 
a few struggles. Well, they haven't been able to score, Dave. They only, in the five game losing streak, they only top 70 points one time. And let's be honest, and you got to be able to get the ball in the bucket, and that has been a struggle. Caleb Weston is the leading scorer, but there really hasn't been anybody that's consistently shot the basketball. This kid can do it, just hasn't gone for him. And this is his second straight shot. Rebound Wolverines down four with the ball. Caleb Weston now on the bench. Ohio State goes with a much smaller look. Brazdakis will go to the free throw line. And that's Jaden Ledee, another one of the Ohio State freshmen from Houston, Texas. His first foul. He's just a hard working kid, Ledee, but Brazdakis, you have to square your shoulders because it's how you're strong when you play defense. Razdakis is so powerful. If you give him an angle, he is big, he is strong, he uses his body to move you off, and then you foul him. Does everything right-handed except for shoot a basketball. He's a lefty shooting. He was born in Lithuania, a basketball crazy country. Grew up, though, in Canada, another basketball crazy country. Four times already the Big Ten Freshman of the Week. He's not just one of the best freshmen in the league. He is one of the best players already in the Big Ten. And one of the toughest guys. Showed me a lot in Bloomington. They were up early, Michigan was. The lead was cut to nine. And Iggy hit two monster threes to quiet 17,000. And then after hitting the threes, let the entire state of Indiana know. It is impressive. Not shy. The guy they call Iggy here in Ann Arbor. Where will the offense come from? There's the transfer of Woods. Just kind of wildly threw that one up. But Ladee was there to score. Ladee's a great story. Didn't play in the first game. They were trying to find him minutes. He kept working in practice. When he got, when he has gotten a chance, he's been productive just by hustle. That's a foul against C.J. Jackson. And Chris Holtman's not happy with his senior. Totally unnecessary foul. But they're in a 2 3 zone. Last thing you want to do in a 2 3 zone is on top when there's no action, is just foul a guy. You don't want Michigan in the bonus. The problem for Chris Holtman and the Buckeyes is against this kind of Michigan team, you, ju you just have to play almost perfect here in Ann Arbor. Really, anywhere you play the Wolverines. And you can't have a letter. You just cannot have a letter. For those of you joining us from that thrilling win for number three Virginia number five Michigan against one of their hoops rivals here in Ann Arbor Dave Fleming Dan Dockage Molly McGrath Ohio State off to a very quick start Caleb Wesson their super talented sophomore big man sort of keying things he's on the bench at the moment his older brother Andre Wesson knocks down a three he has been so solid Andre Wesson in that offense little screen slip. And he, when he's in, when he is able to step into his shot, he's as good as any from the top of the key. Jordan Poole, catch and shoot, too strong. Long rebound right to Xavier Simpson. Well, the Buckeyes have used this zone defense for some possessions these last couple of games. Poole's going to keep shooting. And at least in the early minutes, he's going to keep missing. Brandon Johns, another offensive rebound for the Wolverines. So the possession continues. Simpson over to Poole. Try it again. Yes. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Something good might happen. The one guy you've got to shade in a zone is Poole. And Washington left him inexcusable. Poole shot three threes on that possession alone. And now an Ohio State turnover with maybe a numbers advantage. Isaiah Livers spins, got fouled. So that'll take us to a timeout. If you're with us on ESPN News, we're shifting over after the timeout. Buckeyes with a two point lead. Here at Chrysler Center, down two, just about halfway through the first half. Dave Fleming, Dan Dockich, happy to have you back with us. All right, it's clear the Wolverines are one of the best teams in the country. Pretty good start, though, for the Buckeyes. How do they hang with Michigan? First, they don't turn it over five times. They've already done that. That has to be it. This has to stay at five to eight, no more. And then they've got to keep shooting the basketball. They've moved it, and they've gotten good shots. And lastly, Caleb Wesson. 
has to play both ends. Offensively, he's been fantastic. And defensively, it is the toughest position to play, playing the high post against John Teske and all the things that John Beeline has him do. And of course, those numbers we showed were forced turnovers. So it's Ohio State, the team that has turned it over five times. Caleb Wesson back on the floor. He was the best player on the floor in the early minutes of this game. He was the hardest playing guy. He went at Teske. It looked personal to me. And now, okay, a lot of guys come out to play the first 10 minutes of a game. You got 30 minutes on the road. It's not always going to go right for you. Caleb Wesson, the most important guy on the floor, particularly defensively for Ohio State. One of two free throws for Michigan. Number five in the country. A little blip at Wisconsin. Didn't play great, especially down the stretch. You were there. Didn't Bounce play back. great. Bounce Bounced back. In Bloomington, though. A wild play, and Jallo could not finish it. Saved, but to Michigan. That's basically another turnover. Iggy down the court had it stripped away. Brazdakis loses it. That's the first Wolverines turnover. Sean Woods nice down low and Wesson with the left hand. Yeah, because Woods Aiden thought he was going to be open for a shot, but being a right-hander, Brasdakis was going to come and block it. He recognized it and got a posting Wesson. Perfect play off a high ball screen by get, Woods. Get Caleb Wesson the ball. He's telling you he is competing hard. Hardest I've ever seen him compete. That's a good sign against this super talented Michigan team that is so tough at home. Livers. Wanted to shoot a three. He's kind of their offense off the bench. Simpson was fouled before the shot. This is what you were talking about on the other end. Yeah, just a little ball screen and watch Weston step in hard. Now that's a hard step in. And the pass is away from the defense. Post kids, don't step in with your toes or your upper body. Step in with your hip and go into the defensive guy and you'll move him you'll get position you'll score uh, John Teske is a huge dude he had no chance huge like you stand next to John Teske it's intimidating now, so far those threes for the most part are not going down for Michigan that was Charles Matthews had a good look Justin Arns on the floor for the first time in this lineup you better get the ball to Wesson or you better get Muhammad driving because this lineup's a turnover waiting to happen. Luther Muhammad coming off his career best offensive game. Shot clock winding down. Got cut off. Somebody's got to shoot. Will they? No. Here come the Wolverines. Trying to steal minutes if you're Chris Holtman, but you can't go along with this lineup. No offense stop it. That time the hook didn't work. First time I've seen him shoot the hook from anywhere other than the right side. Here's a three. Right side good. There are two guys you've got to guard for Michigan at the three-point line and not leave. One is pulled, the other is Livers. Wesson found a little opening, missed the mid-range jumper. Orange, good hustle. Offensive rebounding factor on both ends in the early minutes. Jallo down low. Wesson a little more comfortable here against the shot blocker. Teske rejects it. Wesson bullies his way to the offensive rebound and missed another one. That's all right. He is working hard. That's a bad foul. You cannot call that foul against a guy that's working as hard as Wesson. All right, we're going to show you pregame. <laughs> Xavier Simpson works on this thing. That's how you work on a hook. You put it over your shoulder, and he gets rewarded right here with a, the best hooker I've seen. Since Abdul Jabbar. No. Typo. Now, Michigan, a team that has an argument for number one. They do. I totally think they do. I thought their resume, based on how they not only beat people, but thumped them. And now, when you look at the win at Villanova, I know it was a different Villanova team, but you know, that doesn't matter to these rankings. Michigan has a real argument for number one. A little bit of pressure from Ohio State. Eli Brooks in the game for the first time. Pool, he will keep doing that. I don't get it. I don't get leaving Pool. Irons was there and he dropped back to let CJ Jackson come over. I don't get it. You stay with Pool until he gives it up, period. I don't care if he's missing shots. You got to guard him. 
This is the first lead for the Wolverines. Jallo, that was a creative way to enter the ball, and it drew a foul. What you do as a post guy or anybody, actually, when you're underneath the basket receiving a pass is you come to the ball. The last three feet are for you, and that's exactly what Wesson did, and he got the foul. If he had just stayed back, the ball would have been taken by Brooks. Now I can tell you're excited by the way that Caleb Wesson has started this game is playing so far. I like how I like when guys play really hard and he has played really really hard. And he could do that at his size no whistle saved in bounds. Yeah was saved. I got to take the referee's word for it. Yeah he was closer than us but that sure looked like he got banged off balance. Wesson has. Maybe as big of an array of low post moves as anybody in the country. And he's improving and he'll continue to improve. Lose 20 more pounds and you'll see a bunch. Poole got cut off that time. Shot clock winding down. Charles Matthews knows it. Can he get a shot off? Yes. Tough one though. Air ball. That time they stayed with Poole and stayed tough. There, look, with this particular lineup on the perimeter, let make Charles Matthews shoot a three. That's fine. Guard livers. Guard pull on the perimeter and get tough with him, and you'll be able to guard Michigan. Quiet start for Charles Matthews, one of the captains of this team, one of the most important players on this number five Michigan team. And that's part of the reason why he got his hand in the passing lane. And that was just a bad pass and great defense, fundamental arm in the passing lane, easy. There goes Poole. Quick ball movement. Livers tried to drive and was cut off. Poole steps behind the line. They lost him again. Got away with it. They lost him because Wesson wanted Aarons to switch out to him. Aarons didn't pay attention to it and got beat. There goes C.J. Jackson. Teske was with him, though, the shot blocker. Aarons launches way off the mark. Bad shot. Got a shot fake. The defense was too influential in that shot. And Teske beat everybody down the floor. Aarons came over and maybe... Help force that awkward shot. Runs used the backboard. Wesson Ooh. tried to dunk it home, missed it. Well, Ohio State trying to get organized on defense. Who has who? Tired team. Nobody could get to him. Truthfully, both teams tired. That's why that shot was short. We haven't had many whistles. We've had back and forth action, and Chris Oldman knows it. Really good timeout. He needed another score in number one, and he need to get Wesson a break, number two. So a quick break, just 30 seconds back after this. See, I love that. That's what the Ohio State Michigan should be. It's not much of a rivalry anymore in football because Ohio State just with Urban Meyer has absolutely dominated Michigan. But hey, it's basketball. It's field hockey. It's baseball. You've gone too long without hate mail. Well, I mean, I just tell you the truth. Best thing happened to Michigan football is Urban Meyer retiring. Jackson draws a foul. It's been almost five minutes since Ohio State scored to see Jay Jackson attack the rim. And I asked you, has he shot the ball? This is the time when C.J. Jackson needs to play. Yeah. You know, the team is in a bit of disarray. He needs to settle him down, make these two free throws, and let's play defense. So he gets two free throws. Good free throw shooter makes the first. College basketball, what do we call it? A quintuple header for you on Saturday. We get a lot of hoops. How about that on Saturday? St. John's Duke, that gets it all started. Carolina Louisville, that's a really good one. Louisville thumped them in Chapel Hill. Kentucky, Florida in the SEC. Then we turn the page into Big Ten. East Lansing, the site. Michigan State, Indiana. And Tennessee, Texas A&M. Saturday. Uh, Tennessee deserves a number one ranking. I, I believe. I think Michigan's in the conversation. Duke, obviously, Virginia, you know, fine. But to me, Tennessee has played with maturity and real toughness. I cannot wait to get to Gainesville. The game's going to be great, but I can't wait to get out of minus nine. <laughs> it is literally it as is. cold as it's been in decades <laughs> here in the upper Midwest. Brooks found Matthews. Shot clock winded down. Simpson from way outside, too strong, and C.J. Jackson, good defensive rebound. Is what I say right now. Okay, who's going to shoot a three? Maybe Iggy, maybe Livers. You're fine with it. Guard those two guys tough on the perimeter. Make somebody else shoot late clock. 
And we're in the Big Ten, right? We're, we're tough people up here in Ann Arbor. Classes are canceled for the next two days because it's going to be so cold. Two days. One of the places my son told me, Skeeps and Ricks. Be packed tonight. <laughs> no class. It's cold out, but students aren't staying in. They'll be open. Jackson with the foul. Jackson is a stud when he plays like that. Get low, get under livers, don't settle for a jump shot, and drive it. I'm telling you, Jackson here, last couple possessions, a difference. <laughs> Players, coaches, fans, students, they'll all be headed to the Christian Science Reading Room for these two days, the library. Oh, no, you're not supposed to even go outside. Oh. They'll be just staying at home. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Scorekeepers and Ricks is what I'm told. Somehow they made it here. Yeah. They did bring buses, right? They want to make sure the yeah. kids are safe. Uh, all joking aside, they are. Uh, you sort of have to. They let them inside the arena early. Usually they have the students line up before a game outside. Then they open the doors a couple hours ahead of time. Not today. Matthews for three. Good. Set up nicely by a drive by Xavier Simpson. Matthews did a great job of relocating to an open spot. Jallo fell asleep. He has had a rough start to this game. Yeah, Jallo. He's got the ball here. Played really well. Earned the start. It hasn't been great so far. Shot clock winding down against that tough defense of the freshman. C.J. Jackson draws another foul. Well, coming up on our E-Trade halftime report, UVA survives the game before us in overtime. How about Texas needing a big win? They got a big win at home against Kansas. They did need a big win, and Chuck is smart. I, I, I know it hasn't gone the way they've wanted, and I know Texas fans are getting a little uncomfortable with them, but Shock is a great coach, and I swear you give him enough time, something good will happen. Jackson, well, the defense just opened up for him. I'm telling you, he is a big-time player. Hasn't had the greatest year, but I, there are very few point guards I'd rather have than C.J. Jackson on the offensive end in particular. And right at the moment where you said, hey, they need more of him, they've got more of him. Simpson, really, good. really, really good. Can't play offense except driving to the rim when you need it and the hook shot. He's become a terrific offensive player for a guy that really can't play offense at the collegiate level. Great, at least the way it's normally played. Uh, one of the best on-ball defenders in the country. And one of the best leaders in the country. Great, Andre Wesson. Great play by Iggy. Iggy recognized Wesson was wide open. There was a switch, and he sprinted out to influence the shot. Okay, now he gets the reward on this end. It's amazing what happens in basketball. Hustle and play hard on the defensive side of the floor. Find an opening on the offensive end. He was great on the defensive end, then sprinted down, and the ball just finds its way in when you when you hustle the ball rewards. I say it all the time. Is Michigan the best defense in the country? Jallo just had it ripped away. They're in the conversation, no question. You always got to include Virginia, but this defense is really, really tight and good. They might be there with the Cavs now. No doubt. Final minute of the first half. Simpson from the corner. You give Simpson leeway to shoot that. Two reasons. One, he plays so hard and leads so well. And two, you want the defense to at least respect it. Here's where in college we don't really get much of the two for one. Never. And you don't get a foul in the open court like most. You do get two on one. Matthews tipped in his own miss. Yeah, it was interesting. Muhammad came down. And instead of going after the ball, he tried to body Matthews. <laughs> Loudest it's been all half. Final 10 seconds of the half. A 7 0 run for the Wolverines. Muhammad nowhere to go. Final two seconds from near midcourt. Jackson almost made it. I don't think the tip would have counted, and what a finish to the first half for the Wolverines. Well, this is huge. The end of the half is so big in basketball, and that's the story of this game. Michigan started out playing, playing well, going to Weston, but too many turnovers 
by the Buckeye. By the Buckeye. Let's go over to Molly. Coach C.J. Jackson got going for Ohio State. What do you need to do against him defensively? You know what? They're getting us in some switches. We want Xavier to stay on him, but he's getting multitude of screens, and then he's picking on somebody. He's getting underneath us. A uh, couple times we left our feet. We just got to stay in front of them, make them score over us. What does your offense need to do to keep them on their heels in the second half? Well, they what they they got us on our heels right now because they're pressing. Uh, they're playing zone. They're playing man. We got to pick that up quicker because we're wor we're really working with a really short shot clock right now, and we don't want it. We want a longer shot clock, so we got to get into our stuff quicker. All right. Thank you, coach. All right. Thank you. Dave. All right, and thank you, Molly. 32-26, the halftime score after a 7-0 run to end the half. After this break, Adnan Burke and Jay Williams will have halftime. That's a really good stance, but sometimes when you switch and you're a bigger guy and a guard, you're kind of standing waiting to dock. Instead of locked in and I'm going to have my hands up, making sure he jumps out over 6'8", that's fine. In the last 10 minutes of the first half, that was the offense for the Buckeyes. Not much else. Not in turnover. Ball has to go in if you're the Buckeyes. Got to play through Wesson. Set something up for C.J. Jackson. Defensively, if you're the Buckeyes, you got to guard Poole. I mean, you've got to eliminate Poole. So we'll see. Ohio State at least is in this game. Michigan State, or Michigan rather, has blown some people out in first halves this year. Michigan State's done the same thing too. The two powerhouse teams in this conference, an immediate whistle and a foul against the Buckeyes. And that was Pool. What happened there? Pool really wanted to go. I heard him in the huddle talking about Pool. That's why I said that. He wanted to go, and then the handoff to Brazdakis and Wesson relaxed once Pool gave up the ball, and Brazdakis started driving it. 20 on the shot clock. Simpson will inbound. There's Pool catch and shoot, short on the three. That's what he's going to do this second half, and you have to be able to guard it. Wisconsin didn't beat him. And a terrible pass by Jackson Pools right there to steal it away. Pool all the way. No good. He well, should have gave it up early. He'd have got it back. But so sloppy with the ball, Ohio State. I think they might have gotten away with it. No. Michigan ball. Let's go over to Molly. Well, Ohio State's Chris Holtman usually prefers a man-to-man -man defense, but told me he's going to continue to employ his own in the second half. But he may adjust. He's just going to see how the flow of the game goes. But said our defense wasn't really our issue in the first half. It was sloppy offensive play and turnovers. And he's uh, he's he wants a lot fixed there. But he said he's very happy with C.J. Jackson so well, far. So far, thank you, Molly. The problem has not been fixed. Two possessions, two turnovers here in the second half. Really bad turnovers. Bad. Too. Bad. I love what Wesson's doing in this game. I love Xavier Simpson, but Wesson has just really competed. And you got to play through him if you're Ohio State. Simpson had it knocked away from behind. Seven seconds on the shot clock for the Wolverines. Well, look for a little bit of a lob here. Maybe a screen for Teske. Throw it up. That's a good call. I happen to be watching that. Musa Jallo. Matthews was trying to come back. Jallo was holding, and Matthews tried to back cut, and Jallo kept holding. Watch well, number two right here. He's got his hands. He's holding him, and he cuts, and he holds him again. Might even grab part of the jersey. All he can do is play underneath, and he's not doing anything. So that helps Michigan a lot. They were having a hard time getting the ball in. There was only seven seconds on the shot clock. Now a little extra time. Teske just couldn't get firm position. It was a battle royale down low, and Poole didn't recognize it. As you said, Teske didn't have his feet under him. Guess who did get good position? I'm telling you. High school coaches, college coaches, the clips of this kid, Caleb Wesson, standing in fantastic. Look at this. He, look what a position is. I mean, he just dominating Teske with his hips. It's not his upper body. It's his hips. All right, I'm going to qualify what I'm saying. Muhammad off the inbound play. Good look. Couldn't finish. John Teske is one of the most improved players in the country. He's having a great year. He's been particularly good lately. He is getting whipped in this game. No bad. I mean, that's off a foot. Yeah, I think it. That's, that's off a foot. That's a break for the Wolverines. Now, Brazdakis was out of bounds. Out of bounds State ball. Can't dribble it off your own. How do you miss that call? I don't know. Hey, Bo, Bo Borowski's, I call him 99.9%. .9%. He's good 99.9%. .9%. Little slippage right there. Nobody's perfect, not even us. 
Wesson to Wesson. Yeah. Older brother to little brother. Who kept that pivot foot down but just could not score over you, the big man. You can't dribble and then start pivoting. You have to pivot then dribble. Good hand by C.J. Jackson. Save the bucket. You can't get the ball, dribble it, watch here, and then pivot your way out. He dribbles. Now he's going to try to pivot his way out. Test is too solid. See how his shoulders are squared? See how his hands are active? You have to pivot and move Teske and then come back against where he moved. Well, Teske heard me. That was a big-time play. Matthews again against Jallo. Got the ball. Had it stripped away. C.J. Jackson with a great play. Matthews cut over the top of Jallo. C.J. Jackson was guarding out of bounds. Came and stripped it. Wesson to Wesson inside out from older brother to little brother who hits his second three just inverted inverted right. just let the little Wesson go to the post the big Wesson come out three-point game Buck has so much sloppiness with the turnovers and yet they're in the game that was a really good cut you cannot do it you predict inside out nobody should be able to cut to the basket that open Efficient game for the freshman oh. Ignis Brazdakis. Now Wesson hits the deck. Offensive foul though at the ball. Offensive foul. CJ Jackson smart playing a really good game here. Guarding the inbounder doesn't stand. You know what he does? He comes and makes a play. Watch Jackson's right here. Now watch him come. Don't stand guys. There's something to do always. Get in position. Get in the middle of the lane. And next thing you know it leads to a three. That's a five point play CJ Jackson helped create. Don't stand when you play basketball. There's something to do always. Cool with Jackson right on top of him. Well lesson switch to help out. Michigan, though, could not get an open look. Oh, I see. Defense has been pretty darn solid. Yeah, really good. From the corner, Matthews against Andre Wesson. Right on top of him, and he blocked the shot. Boy, Andre Wesson squared up. Didn't took away the baseline. Took away the middle. Blocked the shot. You can't do it any better. Same inversion. Knocked out of bounds off of Michigan. Tell you what, Charles Matthews did a great job defensively of fighting Andre Wesson because they were looking for the same thing. Wesson on the block, the little one, out to the big one. Well, Michigan State's 13-game win streak came to an end. Their 21-game Big Ten win streak came to an end. So if Michigan can win this game, they will tie their rival Spartans atop the Big Ten standings. It's unbelievable what those two, you know, those two schools have been able to do. They have dominated this league for two years in a row. Washington, the freshman runner, no good. Nobody rotated back. C.J. Jackson stood and watched. <laughs> Easy explanation. And Jordan Poole sprinted hard. Wesson with that little spin move left hand though no good not close you know, unfortunately for him he gave up his dribble if he'd have kept his dribble he'd have spun and gone and dunked it Simpson went right by Washington missed the layup great move by Xavier Simpson just didn't finish it off I love Xavier Simpson. I love watching him play I, I think he is so much fun to watch for a guy who is not a shooter oh. Andre Wesson Look at them run. Look at Brzezdakis run. They're Good calling call. that offensive foul. You saw it too? Yep. You liked it. I'm telling you, Washington sprinted down, got to the arc, stood there. Brzezdakis tried to jump sideways. Usually you get that call, Big D. Not this time. Fantastic. Because Brzezdakis was flying down the floor. Washington's there. Brzezdakis is coming. Slid to the side, doesn't matter. He was there. Good call. State was 16 and 2 in an unbelievable Big Ten last year. I mean, you're talking about Ohio State at 15 and 3. John Beeline, I think he's the best basketball coach in the country. And if there's going to be an argument, I'll give you Coach K, but I'll give you Izzo too. I think the two of them, as good as any coaches in the country right now, and better than 99.9% .9 of them. Washington on the drive. Nice move. Opened it up. A little different. No Caleb Wesson, so spread the floor. Washington had a little room. He's a willing scorer from here in Michigan. 
So he knows about this rivalry. Smaller lineup on the floor for the Buckeyes when Caleb Wesson is on the bench. They don't have a lot of other size. And there's no test. There's Livers for three. Catch on it. They have been so slow to get the Livers. There was a switch. Washington got there late. Teske may, or excuse me, Livers made him pay. So this is the biggest lead for the Wolverines. They're up 8, 39, 31. And some important minutes for the Buckeyes trying to hang in this game without their star post player. They're going to lean on this guy who got fouled by Jordan Poole. Caleb Wesson watching from the bench. Our women's Thursday night showcase is week number two, UConn in Louisville to take on number three, the Cardinals at home with what should be a great atmosphere. Thursday, 7 Eastern on ESPN. It'll stream live on the app. Big game on the women's side. Big game of the Big Ten here. Ohio State had a five-game losing streak, went on the road to Nebraska, and won to snap the losing skid. Missed shot. Jallo hustled after the loose ball, got on it. The arrow favors the Buckeyes. Pretty smart by Jallo. Jallo knew. He knew that the that the arrow favored and didn't call a timeout. Really smart, great hustle. So Ohio State ball, as big as that win was in Lincoln for them, this would be much bigger if they could take down number five. Oh, this would be huge. And, you know, one of the things I like about Michigan, Brasdakis is a freshman offensive player, all that. But, man, does he guard. He keeps his body in front. He is so strong, tough. Woods against Matthews. Good defense from Charles Matthews. Better offense, I guess. We were just talking off air about Woods. 12 points a game at Wake Forest. He can get the ball in the bucket over 1,000 points. Where has he been? That was big time. He has, he has been so quiet so many games for Ohio. He's had some big games. Well, he was huge at Creighton. I mean, just absolutely unloaded on him. Simpson three. Short. Followed his own miss and ripped the ball away, but that's another jump ball. That was a pretty quick whistle in terms of the what, joint possession. What did legendary graduate assistant tell you about Simpson today? Great hands, strongest hands in the world. Well, you're going to see it right here. Washington, no block out, and Simpson just rips it away. Andrew Dockich told us that Xavier Simpson had the strongest hands he had ever played against. He had played against a lot of good, strong players. I can't pick it up, but everybody talks about Simpson holding when he drives using his offhand to hold the defender down I can't pick it up well maybe they're really quick too so you can't I see it there he tried it he, he did try it and he found a little opening oh, boy, that was nice he straightened Wesson up and he went and used the other side by staying lower than Wesson I think he did what Andrew told us about hey will somebody hire Andrew Dodgers <laughs> to get him off the payroll <laughs> there's, there's just a small cry for help <laughs> to all the hoops coaches in America oh, Andrew's got a great no, no, Bo. no no yeah I thought so too hey look Poole is he's smart he's really smart I think Andre Wesson just found out that that foul was called against him that's his third personal. Man, I, I, hey, look. Poole isn't the strongest guy, but he's not this week where a touch knocks you down WWE style. Come on. I would be a bad referee because I would call that a flop and a technical. I hate flopping. I love that he did it. Good for him. I mean, it's one thing when you try to fool an official who's away from the play, can't see it, prop. That was right in front, front and center. <laughs> he, he did a good job. He Great sold job. the call. Absolutely. You better guard him. Pull up for the three. Oh, yes. Washington quick release there's an answer how about that for the freshman and right now if I'm Chris Holman I'm going off on Washington because for some reason he's looking at the ball not staying with pool in their zone inexcusable you got a no pool
44-36 Michigan leads Dan Dockich I've been waiting for this let's go inside the play you know you talk about a zone needs to move in sync right here too low right here you're taking both away but as pull moves you gotta move with them come up and then play inside this is what happens when you have people in weird positions Andre Wesson not used to playing in the zone the one guy that's gonna kill you is right there it's pool it's number two and when you're late to him it gives up three simple bring the post guy in the middle up Andre Wesson move in from the weak side farthest guy from the ball and guard pool and don't you think part of that is that point that you were making uh, they're not a zone no. team they don't play no. a lot of zone they're trying it they have a big injury that's lost them some size and strength but hurt them and Andre Wesson playing as that position in his own probably not five times in practice so now Caleb Wesson comes back in the game. Teske did not shoot the three. Pools got the big man on him and threw it away. Luther Muhammad with the steal. Can the Buckeyes use their numbers advantage? Nice shot fake from Washington. Missed the three. Jallo offensive rebound. Jackson stepped back to make sure it was a three. Two great looks. Well, that's bad luck for Jackson. He made a nice stroke after a shot fake, had it halfway down. But if you're going to come back in this game and you're Oh, I'll say you got to get stops. You got to keep the ball in front of you. Simpson against Caleb Wesson. Trying to get it to Teske against Washington. Rosdakis from the corner. Three. <laughs> they lost the game when Rosdakis couldn't get a bucket. He is so tough. He did it twice in the second half when Indiana was trying to make a comeback. And he did it right there. You could feel it was a big moment. He went over at Wisconsin. I don't think that's going to be happening again. No. Washington will try another one. He is not shy. This has been the problem with Ohio State. Lack of consistent shooting throughout the course of a game. Get hot for a minute or two, then it goes away. Simpson went right by Washington, who stripped it away. Not all the way, though. Livers in and out. That one looked like it was going down. It did. It looked perfect. And I'll tell you what, if I'm Ohio State, I'm keeping the ball moving. Not letting it stop. I don't want to play against a set defense. Jallo, way too strong. How many good looks? A lot. And then a foul against Caleb Wesson. Well, those shots are going to have to go down for the Buckeyes against number five Michigan. Back right after this. I put Michigan State Kentucky looking good. We're going to be there Saturday. I can't wait. They're pounding Vanderbilt over on ESPN. Yeah, if you're looking for a more competitive game, we have a more competitive game. Xavier Simpson with that running hook that he loves so much. <laughs> he was practicing it at halftime. He would not go to the huddle until he made one. He shot three or four of them in this game. He's made one. Ohio State, last few minutes, not been good for the Buckeyes. Woods trying to get the ball inside. I mean, Teske's making it harder on Caleb Wesson since the early parts of this game. That's good defense there. Jackson got rid of it, missed the shot from short range, and almost missed another one, but it goes down. Second time, Jackson's made a really nice cut to find himself, got the rebound, knocked it in. Now, if you're Michigan, you spread it, and I think you're going to go to some high ball screen stuff with Teske. Here it is. He set two screens to give the freshman an opening, just didn't hit the three. Nobody got back. Wesson runs the floor, and Xavier Simpson knocked the ball away. Wow! There are those strong hands. Pull! No good. Man, this place was about <laughs> to explode. And it should have. That's a little Tayshawn Prince back in the day. Smallest guy. That's oh, an offensive stop foul. And I was watching that. Andre Wesson's feeling picked on right now. Strong hands from the little guy. Strong Xavier hands Simpson. and a great attitude. Yeah. I mean, what an attitude by Simpson. Wesson snuck behind. Simpson didn't give up. And with the left hand, knocked it away. Watch this. All great shot blockers can use both hands. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrific play. So much want to out of Simpson. So much leadership. I just love watching him play. Rosdakis with the right hand. Rebound tapped around. Woods tried to save it in bounds and couldn't. 
Did you know that in this game Xavier Simpson has 10 assists. 10 assists no turnovers. I did I, the stat sheets right here in front of me. OK. Yeah ties a career high. We got 840 still to go. I feel like he's going to break it. If he can drive it and find pool you feel like Poole's going to hit his next shot. Can he find somebody to make a shot for him given that assist number 11. It doesn't count if you make it yourself. Arns for three short. Caleb Wesson going to be whistled for the foul. You don't exactly draw up offense if you're Michigan. Wow. And we got double technicals coming. And Wesson and Simpson started it. Here's the rivalry. Poole got in there. Wesson barked it in after the technicals had been issued. Caleb Wesson, maybe the most important player for Ohio State, got called for the personal and then got a technical. Xavier Simpson got one too. Well, I think that what has happened here is there's a lot of frustration by Ohio State, and then you add the park, you're like, well, Pool doesn't need to be there. And, and you know what? And Teske's kind of getting them away, but you don't ever touch an opponent because you're going to get that reaction and it's going to escalate. You get your own guy and you get him out of there. Nobody needs to be a peacemaker, and nobody needs to come in and put any hands on an opponent. You get your own guy, get him out, and it's solved. Teske wasn't meaning any harm. And once you put your hand on an opponent to separate him, he's going to knock it off. And those first two technicals had already been called, so now the official's taking a look to see if there's anything extra. And you see John Higgins. I think he was the one who called the technicals. He's got the ball at the top of the screen. Yeah. On Simpson and Caleb Wesson. Simpson was doing right. Simpson barked. He barked and he was walking away and nothing was going to happen. Poole got in there. And I don't think Poole was trying to cause any problem, but there's no need to get in. Just walk away. No problem. Assuming that those are the only two technicals that come out of this, that hurts Ohio State a lot more than it does Michigan. Jordan Poole does not lack personality. Jordan Poole came over in front of us to start the second half to take the ball out dancing and singing. What was John Beeline's line after he hit what is going to go down as one of the most famous shots in Michigan hoops history, the buzzer beater in the NCAA tournament against Houston. John Beeline had a famous line about Jordan Poole. Yeah, it wasn't he doesn't lack for confidence, but it was something along that nature. An overdose of swag. Yeah. <laughs> Not just a dose, an overdose. And that's what they love about him here, and it translates into his game on the court. Now, Dave, what you have to do both coaches. Gotta make sure it doesn't escalate. Gotta make sure that okay, everybody in front of their coach right now is saying, "Yeah, we're cool." But you go out there, and next thing you know, somebody touches somebody, and here we got a real problem. And we're all waiting, coaches included, to find out what what the end result is. John Higgins will come over. You're going to take your headset off. I think Talk so. To John, okay. You do that. And we'll get word. So 
the coaches get the explanation. Now we get the explanation. No, we don't. No, we don't. John Higgins said, I got two technical fouls. I'm not sure who they're on. There's two on Ohio State, and there's two on Michigan. He goes, number two's got one, and I'm not sure who the other one is on Michigan. But what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot the one and one on the common foul and get going. He was not sure who the technical fouls were on. <laughs> it does matter because they count as personal fouls at the college level. 34, there's a technical on, and Simpson, there's a technical on. Wasn't clear who the other technicals were on. Yeah, well, if he if he said two, so we know Poole and Simpson on Michigan, we know Caleb Wesson on Ohio State. Each team has two technicals. Right. Simpson for sure. Yeah. Caleb Wesson for okay. sure. So those are the only two we know for sure. Uh, Keyshawn Woods, one of the technicals. Teske, not pool. That's the front end of the one and one free throws from the Caleb Wesson over the back foul. Got it? And now he's got four because that technical counts as a second personal foul. He has to take a seat. How long can he stay out? We don't know. Not long, maybe. Uh, I don't think you're going to, you're not putting a time frame on it. You're going by feel of the game. And if a bucket goes here or a turnover, then you got a real problem. You got to bring him in. The turnovers are just killing Ohio State in this game and give Michigan's defense a lot of credit. Eski still in the game with no Caleb Wesson. We'll see if they can get him the ball down low. The overdose of swag is going to the free throw line. He crossed him over, and the whole the whole crowd did what guys do at AU games. Oh! And then he went and got fouled. Jordan Poole, the king of swag. Michigan basketball play hard but there's a bigger emphasis on playing smart down the stretch it's what you have to do you, you have to remind your kids look we get it Michigan hates Ohio State Ohio State hates Michigan that's cool but you got to keep your head and just play for the next 734 and then you'll feel really good now Caleb Wesson sitting on the bench still got those four fouls part of those technicals that were assessed about a minute ago Michigan starting to pull away. This has been a tough guy game, and Ohio State's done a lot of things really well in this game. They've done a few things very poorly. Can't make shots. Okay, that's a big one. That's the biggest. I mean, they, as you said earlier, they had really good looks. Just can't knock it down consistently, and really, that's been all year. Muhammad shot clock winding down Michigan's defense all over him no good Michigan just switched every exchange between Ohio State and got out after the shooter cool almost lost it did lose it well that was good defense he was jacking around with the ball and next thing you know in front Washington got a hand on it. it's a little sign of improvement for the freshman Dwayne Washington because defense has not been his calling card how about that turnover? Another jump in the air, nowhere to go, throw it to the wrong team, not get back on defense. And then Matthews beats everybody down the court. There's 11 assists for Xavier Simpson. That's number 11, career high. He's dominated this game. He has been absolutely fantastic in this basketball game, both ends. With nine points. <laughs> yeah. You can dominate a basketball game without scoring. You can. And he does. He came as a big time scorer. I mean, he was a big time scorer in Lima, Mr. Basketball, and I'm telling you, he has. Well, it's not his game in college. It's an addition to his game. Andre Wesson with a foul. Count the basket. That was a great pass by C.J. Jackson. Fantastic. Cause C.J. Jackson just slipped it underneath the arms of the defender. Watch this pass. Really good. Was well, good. Now Andre Wesson completes a three-point play. Jaden Ledee, the freshman, comes back in. We saw him in the early minutes of this one.
small lineup, you're going to see spread here. You're going to see at the end of the possession, if things don't go well, Livers in the corner for a three. Okay. Now, there's going to be a lot of activity before that happens. There's Livers in the corner. There's your three. He ain't bad, folks. Livers or my partner. Justin Alton's. You're the guy who taught Romo how to do that. Been doing that for a while. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> now what? We're, we're, we won't ask you to do it every possession. You're going to see pull, I think. <laughs> well, they do. I mean, why not spread it out? Work the clock. Poole's waiting on the right wing. Oh, man, he had him, too. And he had him. He had Poole. If he would have kept going that way, and Poole would have knocked it in, that'd be hard to live with. Thank goodness Simpson took that shot. Muhammad came up short. Here's Brasdakis. How hard does he go? Man, look at the defense. All got squelched in. Now you can back it out, and you got nothing. I mean, I'm sorry. You've got no pressure against you. That's what I meant by nothing. I mean, sometimes don't you have to teach freshmen how to play that hard or let them learn at this level? We see it all over the country. We're seeing it in Indiana with Romeo Langford. We're seeing it in every instance. Coaches are battling freshmen to play hard. That guy came ready to play hard. Matthews for three. I may have overstepped my bounds today. I was on with Dari and Tom on the radio doing an interview about college hoops in this game. And I said, you know, Braz Dacus, he doesn't have the physical talent tools of Zion Williamson, but he plays with that same attitude. That's, that's not overstepping bounds. Yeah. That's the truth right there. Final four minutes here. Michigan has wrestled control away. Buckeyes were up early. We're playing really well in the early minutes. Simpson, another beautiful crossover, and there's that runner. I don't clap much, but you got to clap for that, Dave. Take it, Kareem. <laughs> Open three, in and out. Ball finds its way to the D, and Arn scores. <laughs> It's my favorite shot in college basketball. Mine too. It, it is. He, he never used to do it. By the way, we got to get him a rebound, don't we? We're not rooting. We're not, but uh, he deserves a triple double the way he's played in this game. Absolutely. You kidding me? He has played his tail off. Look, in my world, it doesn't matter. Everybody's going to say I'm rooting for one team or the other, so I might as well root for the triple double. Razdakis, meanwhile, draws the foul. Muhammad didn't think so. You take this. And this is my favorite shot in college hoops. A six foot point guard who's not a great shooter has learned how to do that. Unbelievable. Can't make that up. Oh, man. Teams in the country. So is Michigan. Xavier Simpson leading the way. One rebound away from a triple double. And I am curious, Molly McGrath, over near that Michigan huddle, are the Wolverines aware Simpson needs just one rebound? Well, I asked the coaching staff about that. They are fully aware that he is one rebound shy from the triple double. John Beeline even said to him, I need you to take it home for us. Simpson was speaking really passionately to his teammates, pointing to his heart, saying, We need to finish this thing. Including just grab at least one rebound. Finish it off, do all the other things. I don't think they did they tell him, Molly? Did they did they say, hey, you go get a rebound? No, they didn't say that, but they're keeping track of it themselves. I think that they're just trying to spur uh, a lot of effort and heart from him in these hmm. yeah, I'm telling, I, I, They will tell him with about a minute and a half to go because I guarantee you somewhere sometime in John Beeline's coaching career, he's lost a 16-point lead. Now it's 18. A little tougher, but with three minutes, I'm telling you, and it never leaves you. So if this gets to a minute and a half, he doesn't have one, I expect him in the game. Caleb Wesson has sat out since those double technicals. The D runner, he rushed that one. And it Simpson is. got it. it. Is. And listen, everybody knows it. That's good awareness by the fans here. It really is. A triple double. 
smallest guy in the court. First one of his career. Derek Walton had one a few years ago. Youngstown State. How much fun is it going to be watching Cassius Winston? Oh, man. And Xavier Simpson. Two times in the last, what, two weeks of Big Ten play? Yeah, they got the big stat board here. Sixth in the history. It's a great history. Think of all the players who have worn those colors here in Ann Arbor. I cannot think of a kid more deserving because he's given himself totally to the team. And no offense. I mean, Derek Walton did it. Nice. Do it against Youngstown State. You do it against Ohio State. Let me tell you something. Derek Walton did the same thing. Derek Walton threw himself totally into the team after that car or after that plane crash a couple yep. years ago. Derek Walton, one of the fantastic, great players in Michigan history. Woods. Playing in Turkey right now. Yeah, couldn't get the roll. He may make his way back to the NBA at some point. Out of bounds off of Michigan. Got a text from Mo Wagner halfway through the game. Tell me I need to give more love to Xavier Simpson. Uh, Mo. Mo, baby. I hope you didn't turn the game off. <laughs> How can you not give love to Xavier Simpson? Love that kid used to come to my basketball camp at Bowling Green a long time ago when he was like eight. He's come a long way. Well, we helped him. Now he gets a steal. Three on two. How about another assist? Feline going to have to figure out when to get him out and let this place explode in adoration. I would recommend soon. Makes for good TV. Andre, a little fadeaway, got fouled. Maybe now, maybe, maybe. I think they might. They are. Right, they're going to wait for one free throw from Andre Wesson. And then in between, we're just going to let you listen in to how this crowd appreciates Xavier Simpson. Here we go. Troops is about let your fans enjoy the moment, let the kid enjoy it in a rivalry game. Ohio State's not enjoyed much in the second half. They, they came ready to play tonight and just got blitzed by one of the very best teams in the country. You know you got to play for 40 minutes both ends. You have a low offensively, they're not going to have a low. Defensively, you relax. Somebody's going to hit a couple threes. I mean, it's just the way it is. Michigan is absolutely rolling. Ohio State has a chance now, though. They have a schedule. Yep. Oh. Favorable. Opens up. To Julius. Maybe he'll be next in line. No whistle. Nice lob. And Ladee finishes. One minute to play for the Lens in one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Please refrain from throwing any objects in this danger on the plane surface. Thank you to Vince for your cooperation. Uh, you mentioned the Spartans and the Wolverines. I mean, it's clear the Big Ten is deep, it's strong, it's good. But those are the two best teams. There, there's that tier, and then there's everybody else. Don't you, you think that's you, clear? You dissing the Boilermakers? I, Purdue did look great, and <laughs> Purdue's hot. I still think there's a separation. I, do too. I think there's a separation. Michigan State ran into a buzzsaw. Great win today for Michigan. Congratulations, Xavier Simpson. Much deserved. Triple double. Yeah, what a night for him, and in the end, what a night for Michigan. Never gets old for these folks to do it against the Buckeyes. There you go, the final seconds, and the final score. Xavier Simpson, as Dan said, the littlest guy on the floor with the sixth triple-double in the history 
of Wolverines basketball their 20th straight win at home. That's the third longest streak ever for the Wolverines for Dan Dockage for Molly McGrath Dave Fleming saying so long Super Tuesday presented by Boost Mobile continues we got Nevada UNLV but first back to studio in Adnan.